Like with Iceberg Gaming here, my character has survived for 750 days. That is two years and 20 days. And this is the TLDR or TLDW, too long, didn't watch, version of my journey. So our character woke up from his uh, coma or whatever when the zombie apocalypse started in the trailer park outside of Riverside. He cleared out the trailer park a little bit and established a little base at the visitor center, the little house there at the uh, entrance to the the trailer park. And then he cleared out from there into the storage area, got all the generators and equipment he would ever need. Then we came over here and set up a permanent base here in the small warehouse outside of Riverside right next to the gas station and from there he started clearing into town. We cleared pretty much the entirety of Riverside. We did establish a little base here in this little two-story house uh, to make forays into Riverside easier but by the time we got that set up we had pretty much cleared all of Riverside anyway. We killed pretty much all of the zombies in Riverside so then he started venturing out. He went up into this area and cleared out all this area and then all the way down here to the gun shop to arm up and uh, and clear this area out as well. Along the way here, we actually uh, almost got bit. It was very close. Fortunately, our tailoring protected us, uh, so we did not get actually bit and die. After that, he started clearing out the country club a little bit, but there were just too many zombies for him at the time. He was not as good of a zombie slayer as he is now. So now that he is doing much better, we might actually revisit the country club and finish clearing that out. Then he came down here and cleared this little subdivision down here, uh, visited the police station and uh, etc. to try to gear up a little more. After that, we decided it was time to move. Our first moving location, we went to Rosewood. We established our base at the second story house here in the gated community and started clearing out. We got the gas station secure. And we cleared the courthouse, police station, and fire station, as well as the school and all the shops in here. Some of these little symbols are from annotated maps, and I went ahead and checked those off after I cleared them as well. Now, from there, we went and visited the prison to see if it was overrun, and it was, in fact, overrun. Uh, we spent a lot of time trying to clear it out, but there was just so many zombies there that uh, it was kind of a lost cause. After we had cleared all that out, we kind of we wanted to see the military base, so we went all the way over here and we visited the military base. It was kind of disappointing. There wasn't a whole lot going on there, and there wasn't actually as many zombies there as I thought there would even be. So that was a little bit of a waste of a long, arduous trip. After that, it was time to move again. We headed over here to March Ridge, and we came very close to dying when we were coming into March Ridge. I was very overconfident. Uh, moving into town after how well it went moving into Rosewood. So I uh, I was fighting pretty much the entire town right here at the start, uh, at the entrance to the town. And um, I actually had the worst luck I've ever had in Project Zomboid during this fight. I vaulted over a fence and my military boots broke and got a hole in them. And not only that, but my foot got cut and I was just limping around, barely outpacing the zombies, and it was a very tense situation. Somehow I was able to circle around and get back in my vehicle and drive away and recover. But that was very nearly the end of the series. But once I recovered, I came back, fought my way in, and established our base here at this little, I guess it's an apartment, uh, at the, uh, in the northern end of March Ridge. And then we cleared out all of March Ridge. There were a lot of zombies in there. Uh, in this area, there's a lot of um, prepper houses, so uh, if you ever need weapons, I would check this area uh, for the prepper houses. Cleared out all the annotated map locations and uh, checked out all the sites. Got some furniture for our future permanent base. And then it was time to go. After that, we headed north. We passed through Muldraw and all the way up to West Point. And we established our new permanent base here at the large factory at the southern end of West Point, right near the gas station. Now, this was an incredible fight to get this 
base set up. There were so many zombies in this area. I think I might have killed 500 to 1,000 zombies just securing this base. It was crazy. Um, but once we got our base set up, we secured it. We are on the roof, so we are completely safe while we are sleeping. And from there, we cleared out West Point. We've cleared out all the annotated map locations except for a few. Uh, we got the gun store cleared out, the um, the auto parts, and uh, and we've just been clearing out the entirety of West Point. There are still a couple of annotated map locations to check. There are a couple of uh, prepper houses with weapons in here. And we actually established a little bit of a fishing hut over here that I've been using to level up my fishing. So I have been fishing and then letting that regen since the fish run out if you fish too much and uh so that is our fishing area and after that we got all of west point cleared out then we started clearing in two different directions alternating we started clearing into moldra first we cleared out the the little trailer park over here got some furniture from in there for our base and then we started clearing into moldra We've established our Muldraw base here at the out at the warehouse on the northern side of town. I think this is the best warehouse location for a base in all of uh, Project Zomboid, just because of the roof access and the and the fence around the roof. It is. Uh, I I don't like Muldraw is not my favorite town, but if I had to pick one favorite base location uh, in a in a warehouse, it would probably be this one. We cleared out. Actually, we cleared out the tavern. Got some furniture and stuff from there for our base and then we started clearing out the town we've been clearing out the annotated map locations as well and just checking out all the sites uh i would say i've probably got moldra about 50 percent cleared of all the zombies and we've also been clearing north up into valley station we cleared the entire racetrack it is uh entirely cleared of zombies and then we went on north further north into valley station now this has been crazy there's been so many zombies in here i was attempting to set up a base here at the uh, gas station but i'm kind of rethinking it and maybe i'll go for the warehouse that's up here uh that's a little closer to louisville itself so that is something i will be uh considering in the future but this was this was a crazy amount of zombies there was like a thousand or so zombies just in this area it was a very epic fight a lot of fun we did that for a while until we completely cleared out Moldra and West Point, and we had started working on the mall. I killed probably around a thousand zombies at the mall, and they just kept coming and coming. And from there, I was making day trips, or weekend trips, I guess you could call them, into Valley Station, and then exploring around Valley Station, and then returning back to my West Point base, until I decided that this was just taking up too much travel time. So I moved up into Louisville, and I made my first base here at this little house. And it's a little second two-story house here with a partial fence around it. It's not the best choice, but I was desperate for a base at the time. And uh, that is where I started. Started clearing out the area a little bit, and then I decided to make my permanent residence here at this cool house here. This is the fancy house with the huge fancy garage. I really, really liked this house. This is probably my favorite aesthetic uh, base in the game. And I spent probably 100 days or so getting it all set up. I made myself a, a bunch of rooms and I had all the equipment and food I would ever need until one day, recently in fact, uh, about two weeks ago in game, uh, it burned down. Something happened while I was trying to microwave some food and the house lit on fire and it, it burned to the ground. So I grabbed as much of it as I could and I moved on. What else was I going to do? I decided to move a few houses down the road to this location here right next to the gas station. This house has a similar internal layout as the other one, but it's missing the cool big garage. It does have this large driveway to house my fleet of vehicles and it also has the little gazebo type deal in the back so i have been setting up my house again for the last couple in-game weeks and uh it's starting to get back where i was so hopefully this one does not burn down uh, once i get this one finished i'll do a base tour but other than that 
Uh, other than that tragedy, I have been gradually clearing Louisville. I've cleared out a lot of the uh, southwest and southeast zombies and, and the northwest zombies as well. I visited all the army prep stores, all the pawn shops, and police stations to get firearms. Unfortunately, all those guns burned down with the other house, but I had them for a minute there. And I have visited all the shops up here. And I've just been doing a grand tour of Louisville so far, just trying to clear it out as best I can. And uh, it's going well. I have killed almost 32,000 zombies. And my skills are almost maxed out, except for electricity, trapping, and fishing. Uh, I've got max aiming, not reloading, though. Um, I've maxed out long blunt. I'm we're kind of working on spear and long blade next a uh, little bit. I'm not focused on either one, especially now that I lost all my weapons when my house burned down. I'm kind of making do with what I have now. But the goal is to max out spear next and long blade and then axe. I probably won't try to max out short blunt and short blade uh, unless this challenge goes beyond a thousand days because those are not fun in my opinion. I don't like the short weapons. They, uh, they put you in danger in my opinion. I prefer the long blunt and the long blade and the spear. So that's where the skills are at. And uh, unfortunately, my protection is not good right now. I ripped my clothing a couple of times um, trying to run through the burn down building and, and stuff like that. And I actually cut myself on <laughs> some trees recently. Uh, and I don't have the materials anymore to repair my equipment since everything burned down in the fire. So I'm starting over a little bit as far as gear and equipment goes, but uh, fortunately I am pretty overpowered right now. I am a zombie slaying machine, so that is a bonus. But uh, yeah, other than other than the tragedy of the house burning down randomly, things are going well. We are on our way to a thousand days. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.